a fellowship of 40 youth community organizers working on separate issues to create systemic change in Memphis. We were talking about how we can improve, how we can build relations with other organizations, and one changer just threw out there, what if we do a national conference? And so we said, hey, we're gonna do this, <laughs> because we found that it's important and we understand the significance behind it. The Youth Action Summit is basically this environment where youth organizers all across the nation are able to come together and speak about what they're working on and learn things to strengthen their work and really utilize and understand their roles in the power of activism and as a youth and the issues that are happening in our country and our society. Organizations from all over the country have come and we're hosting workshops, trainings. We're kind of focusing on ourselves and our identity um, and finding who we are within our roots um, and our history and how that impacts the work that we do. Coming to Memphis, I didn't realize that there was a lot of youth from all over the country like so dedicated to this and they want to make a movement from this. They want to continue to advocate for change and social justice. Because what I've seen is like people want to connect by what inspires them and they want to learn more about each other. By bringing us all together, we can understand and learn other methods on how we can reach that goal. And also, it's a way to mobilize us and coming together with groups who are similar and work on the same things and we create a plan, a strategic plan together on how we can move forward and collaborate. You learn different stories, you learn different experiences, and with that knowledge, you can probably build off of what their ideas are and bring it back to where you are, creating more diverse ways of expressing social justice. All around the country, people are uniting around their issues networking and really building those relationships so that we can move together stronger and build a national platform that everybody can benefit from in the social justice world. I think YAS has given me a lot of hope. Um, there's other people in the world who agree with me and are working for the same things. We're all youth who are working on issues that affect youth. We are those who are most affected by the issues and we're the ones who are working towards it. And that's, that's not something that you see very often. A lot of issues that happen in America, a lot of issues that happen in the world, other people are trying to fix the issues, but it's not the ones that are most affected by it. Just kind of the experience of meeting all these different people who they have a vision and they have the drive and they've done things that are inspiring and I can ask them for support and I ask them, well, how did you do this? And it helps inspire me to further my own work. We've all been doing amazing work around the nation, around the world, but one of the things that we're really focusing on in the new era and the new generation is really banding together and understanding that we're so alike in our work with all different identities. We really want to build from one another and create that unity of intersectionality. Being in the summit where it's nationwide, there's a strength in numbers. It takes a village to move people, and I believe when it comes to what time period that we're in right now, it's especially crucial for the youth to really come together and think of a way to really make change in our, in our community. And I think it's important that we all come together as one, because more voices just make our movement stronger. We chose the different tracks um, as well as the National Civil Rights Museum because we understood how important it was with 2018 being the 50th anniversary of MLK's assassination and how we can really learn from our history and our roots. I felt like it was essential to be in Memphis because the works, it still needs to be done, it still needs to happen. And as an organizer here in Memphis and someone who is still in high school, I've put in a lot of energy to continue that work that the others from the past and my ancestors before me have put in here in Memphis. They fought for us, and what are we going to fight for? I know that you know, this should be easier to do now that we have more technology, but what really is our next move as youth? It's a lot easier to connect than it was in the civil rights movement. But I think, I feel that here, but it's focused on queer civil rights, undocumented, immigrant, refugees, black, white, Hispanic, like it's all types of rights who are coming here from all different places of America. Being at the conference has made me realize that all of our activism is the same. And the idea that we're all working on our own separate projects is just wrong. We're all activists, we're all doing the same thing, and we all want liberation and freedom. A lot of our issues are really connected. We recognize that 
all of us have commonalities and we really needed to build that power between us. And I think that once we find our commonalities and how we all connect together, it helps us truly grow into a huge national movement. It makes me feel um, powerful. It makes me feel powerful. It makes me feel like I can do what I set my mind to and it makes me feel like there's nothing stopping us. Like that's really how I feel here. It's inspirational. It feels like I'm a part of something. The more I watch, the more I learn, I'm more a part of something that was, that's bigger than I thought it was. So we can't stop from here. We are planning to create a sustainable platform to continue the exchange of insight and experience that we've given. And we also hope to create a Mid-South Regional Hub within all of the organizers and the youth community organizers to truly unite and create a really huge regional and national movement. You don't hear a lot of decisions coming from youth. I just really want to see more and more youth like seeing the problem and addressing it and how they want to fix it within their own community. If they put their minds to it, anybody can make a change. And that's what I'm learning here more and more. In the state of America right now, in our political climate and our societal climate and things, it's needed for youth to come together and be the present. We are the now. A lot of people say youth are the future, but really, we are the now. And we're organizing and we're uniting and we really need to create that unity around us so that we can move on within our own work and share and enlighten one another. And by coming here together, we're mobilizing for the future, but we need to start somewhere. And this is the now. Youth are the now.